It's the Look Who's Here Dashboard Jam episode. Today, Aaron Gannon interviews actor Billy Hartung in a car. The two talk, dance, and sing as Billy drives a long route to a coffee shop. Aaron's questions are focused on Down syndrome since Aaron herself has this condition. As we start, Billy's sitting at the reception desk of the Center for Theater Arts in a Pittsburgh suburb. Hold on. Hello? Hi, Billy. How are you? I only answered because it was you. Oh, thank you. I saw your name. I'm working, you know. Oh, What are you doing? Yeah. Not much, really. Hey, uh, would you like to get some coffee? Yeah, I'd love some coffee. When, now? Why not? You want me to go with you? Or you? Are you here? Hey! Yeah. Yeah, I'll come get coffee with you. Hold on. Miss Gray, I'm going to get coffee. I'll see you later. Aaron, what's happening? Let's go. Let's go and have some fun. What a great day to call me for coffee. Sure. Yeah, we're closed for the holiday break, so I was just doing some busy work. Nice. Yeah, and I could use some coffee because um, I, dr I drank it all this morning already. <laughs> Actually, my friend kind of let, uh, lent me her car to use to go and get some coffee. Well, I hope it's okay because I'm about to drive her car. <laughs> Which I love. I just got out of work, and I know we've been working so hard. It sure is true. Punching the card, baby. Getting a lot of work done. I know you've been teaching and acting. I sure have at the school. And we're on break, but last night we were in rehearsals. And let me tell you, I worked those kids. We ran song after song. Want to listen to a song? Yeah. Hey, perfect timing, right? Oh, yeah. Because, uh, well, it's always a good idea to cut loose in the car with a friend, but not get a speeding ticket. Getting so, so hard, hard, I'm punching my, my card. Eight hours for what? what? Oh, tell me what I got. Card. I got this feeling that time is holding me down. I'll hit the ceiling or else I'll tear up this town. Tonight I gotta cut loose, foot loose, kick off your Sunday shoes. Please, Louise. Pull me off of my knees. Jack, Jack get, get back. back. Come on before we crack. Lose your blues. Everybody cut foot loose. In 1998, you were in Footloose on Broadway. I was. I was. And I, I worked on that show for three years. I cut loose over a thousand times. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? <laughs> Which is good. Uh, that's a lot of cutting loose, though. You can hurt yourself if you're not careful. <laughs> you know, the fun thing about that show was it was a movie before it was a stage play, right? So they weren't sure how they were going to turn it into a Broadway musical. And originally, they were just going to have it be like a big rock concert and tour around and let everybody sing the, the hits from... Footloose, and, and that album actually sold more albums than Michael Jackson's Thriller, so they thought it would be a huge hit. And then once they started to think it through, they thought it might be a really great stage play. So I auditioned for it to become a, a stage musical, and guess who they cast me as? The villain, the bad guy, me. What? what? <laughs> that was exactly, was exactly how I, what I thought. How could they see that? But, they said I was a very good villain because I was so likable. Uh. <laughs> so anyway, I had a good time. I played Chuck Cranston and, uh, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It, it was really, really fun to do that on a Broadway stage. You had the Center for, for Theater Arts. I do. I, I run the Center for Theater Arts. You know, the Center for Theater Arts is a school for singing, dancing, acting, theater, musical theater. And I know you know this because you were a student there. Yes, I was. Too, and so was I. We were both students there at the same time. Yes. Which is super cool. And you know, 
how special that program is. It's almost 38 years old, and you were there the year we started our special actors program. Right. Right? Well, there are over 100 kids now enjoying entertainment and all the fun that comes with it, because everything in life happens in a show. Right. That's, that's right, so let's play that, that, that that's right. entertainment. That, that happens in, in life, life. can happen in, in a show. show. You can make them laugh, go ahead. You can make, make them laugh. laugh. You can make them cry. Anything, anything, anything can go. The clown with his pants falling down, or the dance. That's the dream of romance or the scene where the villain is me. The villain, right? That's entertainment. The lights on the lady in tights or the bride with the guy on the side or the ball where she gives him her all. That's entertainment. It might be a... Oh, this is a truth. Oh, divorcee who is after her ex. It can be Oedipus Rex, where a chap kills his father and causes a lot of bother. The clerk, who is thrown out of work by the boss, who is thrown for the loss by the skirt, who is doing... Sing it with me. The world is a stage of entertainment. Dance break. Bum bum. No hands. No, I should keep my hands on the wheel. Why do you like to include that song in class? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, I love MGM movie musicals. And so those songs, just they're real catchy, they're fun. The music, there's 35 instruments in that song, as well as the singers. But I like using it as a song to teach because it's not on the radio. And so when they learn this theater song about entertainment, which we talk about all the time, they actually, need to learn the song, right, that has a great melody, a great, you know, story, and they bring it to life. And, and it's what makes them be special. They're not trying to sound like a recording artist. They're just trying to be their best. And that's why I love it. That's great entertainment, actually. You have six kids. Yes. And one has Down syndrome. Up syndrome. Yes. <laughs> yes. Isaac, our youngest, little boy um, does have Down syndrome and I hope he's a student one day in our special actors program. That would that'd be really really neat yeah. really really cool actually. He'd be in a, a one of the best casts ever assembled I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. yeah. I heard he has an Elvis fan already. He is an Elvis fan. And now a song he likes. Oh you're right. Yeah. Began to swing. swing. She heard a tune and knocked that jailbird sing. Let's rock. Everybody, oh, let's rock. rock. Everybody oh, in the whole cell. He does this too. Let's dance to the jailhouse rock. Spider Monkey oh, playing the tenor saxophone. Little Joey's blowing on the side like trombone. Bone. The drummer boy from oh, Illinois will crash boom bang. bang. The whole rhythm bang. section was a purple bang. gang. Let's bang. rock. Everybody, let's rock. rock. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. You gotta have the, the hair, Elvis's hair. It's a... You're the cutest jailbird I ever did see. I sure would be delighted with your company. Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block. Was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Come on. What's your move? Give me here. You got it. Oh, Elvis would love to dance with you. We could have been going too fast for that song. <laughs> <laughs> We'd end up in the jailhouse. <laughs> yeah. What is your crazy Isaac story? Isaac has so much energy you know that that I, I don't know just hanging out with him is a great story every day is a great story with Isaac because he's constantly discovering things and learning and then he's so happy 
when when something happens that um, I don't know it just makes me excited that I was there for for a very simple moment that in his eyes was quite wonderfully one of the most beautiful things and and I think that's it's pretty cool he's the story that's my crazy Isaac story he he, he is, is the story. story all right he is when I met him at church you did we were in the back of church yes. I remember that and I think he's the cu- the cutest thing he is he helps us with the baskets at church oh does he yeah, really yeah he has a little job and he knows exactly when it's coming and nice. we're an usher at church um, he grabs the basket, and off we go. That's that's one of the best, actually. Yeah. What and look at the you... police. <laughs> I'm so glad that guy. He pulled over that car. They're going to the jailhouse. <laughs> he could have been in our video. <laughs> he could. Yes, he could have. I don't know. I would have sung to him, officer. <laughs> Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. What do you wish people knew about having a child was? Down syndrome. I have a child named Isaac, and he's really amazing and beautiful, and the world's a better place because he's in it. And he gives more than he takes. And if they look at me and say, Well, you must be tired because you're, I say, Well, I am tired because I have six kids and I'm raising a toddler, that the world's a much better place um, for him um, if you see him for who he is and what he is because he's an amazing little boy and he will pull you into his heart. And if you're that close to him, your entire world's gonna get better. And I actually think that about all of my children and, and they, they see the same thing in Isaac uh, that, that I would want everyone to see. We had a little baby who's gonna be a great young man. I have a question for you. Okay. Me and my friend and my, also my room, housemate as well, we spoke for um, All Abilities Media and we talked about, um, in our bio actually, um, Chris Kodowski said, um, we may be different. Mm-hmm. And I, I said, even though we're different, our learning might be different. That's who we are, and, and that's what makes us special. Yeah, it's true, right? We and may be different no matter what we are. It's just being who we are no matter what we are. And the courage to just be you. But Isaac is one mm-hmm. of the specialist, one of the special little boys ever. He's taught me an awful lot in a very short amount of time he's been on this earth. And he, he dances like Elvis Presley. Actually, it took me 40 years to learn how to dance like Elvis Presley. Nice. He does it now. <laughs> so. Let's go get that coffee. Let's go get it. You think they'll let us sing our songs there? I'm hoping. <laughs> we'll sing them all over again. Okay. You have a coat? Kind of. Do you have a coat? I do. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Missy. That looks good on you. That's like your jailhouse rock leather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, let me get the door for you. Thank you. We're going to have some. Go ahead. <laughs>